Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. This morning in the chapel, we've got Amos 5.14. Seek good, not evil, that you may live. Then the Lord God Almighty will be with you just as you say he is. And just, it's Easter time, so most of the Bible verses are, you know, um, seeking God and believing as a Christian that he was resurrected. So, happy Easter! Um a little bit late. It was Sunday, but anyway. All right. I don't have any off the hook. This is going to be. You ever feel like you've got so much going on in your life, you can't get it together? Some days I feel like I accomplished nothing, but I worked really hard all day. That was this weekend. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to jump right in. It's been one of those. All right. So this little guy is my mindless knit. And literally, he is two rows of half double crochet and then one row of chain two or double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, making those spaces. So it's just going to be a light and airy one. Oh, if I don't pull it out, sorry. Um, so this is just mindless. I've gotten that far on it. Again, it's not that I'm feeling bad or anything. I just not feeling like I've accomplished anything. So, a lot of little things going on. But, okay. I also got my kit. And I got it right after I podcast last week. And it is for a reversible crossbody. So, yeah, um, I started it. I don't like one of the stitches, and so I changed it, but pretty much there'll be a blue side, and then there'll be a gray side. So, you make two, sew them together on the, the, ed, on the strap on the edge, and you got it. And so far, um, I have that far on the gray. It starts with the gray, and so I have that far. Um, you work it sideways, so technically I have this far, but it's really long. So, yeah. I can't remember what row I'm on. Uh, these are cottons, and there's the gray, and it, it's that Nova again. They sent me three balls of each. Nova. This is the aqua looking color. Um, so I'm looking for yardage. And I've got my glasses on so I may not be able to see it. Um, yeah. Alright, sorry. Not seeing it. So, um, yeah. I can see the grams, but I can't make out whether it's a six or an eight or five. Anyway, so it is, oops, helps if I get it up there right, Nova. Um, and it's the gray and this aqua healy. I don't know. Some days it looks blue to me and some days it looks green. So, um, it is light. If I had to say it's a mint blue, you guys might think of like mint green. Only this seems to be a mint blue. So, anyway, I have started that. Uh, not getting very far. Or at least I don't feel like I'm getting very far. Um, the other thing that I was doing is I have a whole nother bobber of this. And I'm going to apply it as I go and only have two bobbers um, taken up with this. So, and as you can see, it is, yeah. but anyway, so I have been back to spinning a little bit. I have a whole nother bobber and I will apply those together. Um, this is, if you remember a couple years ago, I got it from RH something Willery. It's one ball. Um, I think I have 
two pounds of this. I can't remember how I broke these up, if it was an eight ounce or a four ounce ball. I think they were four ounce balls, and I haven't even done one yet. So this is a four ounce ball, and I've gotten more than two bobbers off of it, so it'll be a two ply. All right, um, where to start? Lots of little things. Uh, we sold the big trailer, paid off my car, um, just getting things financially done around. I, I made sure that with this year, I've the new job, all that life insurance covers what I need it to. Um, marked our day as oops, as like beneficiary on some stuff, had him added as a signer. Uh, and now I did do one thing that I haven't told anybody in the family about. And since nobody in the family ever watches this, uh, because they think they've lived this life with me. Um, I'm afraid to tell you, I started a, I guess, a rainy day fund. I call it a bucket list fund. And I'm going to start contributing to that bucket list fund. It is for one thing that I've always wanted to do, and that's take a cruise to Alaska. I, I want to take a cruise. I want to go to Alaska and just see, you know, not to live. They say that in the summer it's beautiful, but I want it to be a road trip. I want to drive up. I want to go to Yellowstone National Park. Um, I want to, you know, do the whole thing and then, um, take a short cruise and then, uh, come home. And so it'd be a couple of weeks and yeah, I want to do that. So I also want to finish tiny house. So the two are kind of together and I'm dumping every little bit of money I have into it. So, um, yeah, it will be for whichever comes first. And I may have told you about it. I don't know. Um, so the other thing I did was I got caught down a rabbit hole one day on the internet and, you know, we all do it from time to time, but I found plant seeds, but they're interesting plant seeds. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a tickle me plant. So it looks like a fern and it has to be in my mind related to the Venus fly trap, uh, gene pool. Because when you touch it, it closes up its leaves. Okay. It's also built as a zombie plant because when it's in a pot and you rub your hand over it, it just goes dead. That's what it looks like. They say, um, I prefer the, the tickle me version. I know some of my friends, they call it zombie. You know, they're like, Oh, it's a zombie plant. So they just like the zombie thing. It's the same plant, same take on it. Just how it is marketed. One's marketed as a zombie because it goes dead. The other one is marketed more for kids and it's a tickle me, you know, sensory type plant. So I got the tickle me version just because I found these for just a few dollars on the internet. And they sent me two packages. Well, it's a, for like, I don't know. It was shipping and handling and everything. It was like $11. Okay, and you get two packs of, of plants and this fun little fat card and some helpful growing hints, you know. And so there's a girl at work that really likes plants too. And I thought, ooh, it comes in a two pack. I'm going to get that. So I ordered it. I got a confirmation that they received my order. After that, nothing. Not anything. So finally, last Thursday, I emailed them and said, Hey, I haven't heard anything from you. I haven't received anything from you. And I pay with PayPal because PayPal is really good about getting my money back if I've been scammed. And um, I uh, was like, Hey, I haven't heard anything. So I didn't hear anything from them from that email until like two days later. And I thought, man, I've been scammed, you know? So two days later, I get this email saying that, um, they reshipped it, that I should have already received it and they reshipped it. 
no other communicate. There's no communication with this company. Um, but it said they reshipped it and this time with tracking and here's the tracking number. I said, okay. So the day after I got that email, I got that Friday, Saturday, my seeds show up and it's been like two weeks. And I was like, Hmm. So then the second one comes in less than three days. I got it Monday night and they shipped it out like Friday and it traveled over the weekend and I got it super fast with tracking, but you know, something a little like this, you can't afford to put tracking on all the time. So I'm guessing that they don't get lost in the mail that often. Um, I sent them an email saying that I got it Saturday. And then of course these showed up Tuesday. So now I'm going to email them and see if they want them to ship me me to ship them back. I believe they said in the email um, where they had reshipped it. Don't worry if it comes twice or something. Uh, I do have somebody in mind to give one of these two to share. Um, he is the plant guy up at work and him and I just kind of bond over plants. There's me, him and Connie that just me and Connie have stole trimmings from the plants he cares for. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we didn't steal them. We just kind of borrowed them, but it's not a big deal. But anyway, um, he likes them. So if I get to keep these, I'm going to give them to him. I may just pay them again and keep it. I don't know. It wasn't very much. So the tickle me plant thing happened and I did start my seeds and it says they can germinate in four to 21 days. That is a long term period. I'm not real sure when they'll germinate. So yeah, I'll let you know how they go because I think they're cute. Um, they're just, they look like a fern and when you touch them, if you Google tickle me plant, you'll see it, it's really kind of cute. So anyway, um, did that, uh, this weekend, of course we had Easter with the kids. Um, mowed the yard, weed eat it, just worked my butt off. I was sore. Oh my gosh. Um, I finished a couple more bags sewing wise. And that's really all the sewing that I've done. And it's just because like I said, so I cleaned, I washed the shampooed the carpets, did all that stuff, getting ready for Easter, decorated the house. I have constantly been busy, but the house looks the same. I'm wore out at the end of the day and nothing really to report, you know? So, <coughs> um, I do have Ina and I went through all of the bags and got all the people that I want to give bags to, got them a bag and got it in a file when their birthday is blah, blah, blah. Mm. Yeah, it's going to work with me today because I actually have a spot to put it in. But yeah, right here, I have my little folder, I have my papers with their names and their addresses and their favorite things all in there. And now I'm starting to look for, I've got to do the tellers and the tellers I'm just going to put one with it. I really, yeah, um, they'll get a gift bag and that's it. So we'll see. I'm a little late starting with them. So, you know, some people get them, some people don't. I just haven't really put a lot of thought into it. So the, all the bankers and the people in my area are getting it. So that's anybody else in the bank that gets them on their birthday is just extra. I don't know. Um, I have been taking my sinus medicine because my nose is, uh, it's not clogged up. It's running. So anyway, just in everyday life. Um, I got the bags done. I still have some that I'm going to finish off and then I'm either going to sell or give away. I don't know yet. Um, but I'm going to get them gone 
And then I saw this cute little quick and easy idea that I think I'm going to do for next Christmases. And I think I'm going to start making some now and just make them solid colors and really cute. And they're uh, card holders or business card holder. Cam snap shut. It's just a threefold. So we'll see. But anyway, I really don't have a whole lot. The duck is doing great. Dogs are doing great. Um, RJ's doing good. He started his rodeo season for this year. I think he placed third this last weekend. Uh, him and Macy are doing great. You know, just everything's going okay, but it's just everyday life. Nothing super important to report. And definitely this week, this last week was more in-depth cleaning than I got crochet or knitting done or sewing. So, uh, I do have a job, um, through the bags, um, that I give as gift bags. This lady called me and she says, do you sew more than bags? And I said, yeah. And, uh, she wants some dresses hemmed and I was looking on the internet and they can be pretty pricey to hem a dress. So, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to tell. I'm just going to tell her to uh, pay me what it's worth. I, I just don't really know what to charge around here. I know that when RJ looked into having his patches sewn on, it was like $12. And it literally is for C. I was like, just give it here. So <laughs> he goes, well, I didn't want to bother you. You know, he's got some sponsorships that have patches and, and he's, I didn't want to bother and take it. I was like, it really does not take that long. And he needed six of them done and it was $12 a patch. I was like, you're not paying that. Give them here. And I mean, I less than 30 minutes and I had all of them done. So, I am not going to, no matter where this takes me on this mending and sewing journey, uh, I am not going to do alterations for prom dresses, wedding dresses. I'm not making wedding dresses. I'm not making bridesmaids dresses. I am not doing anything formal. I have nothing with a deadline. Uh, the lady that needs me to hem these dresses is a colleague of mine, so I'm going to tell her, put them in the order of importance. And when I get to them, I will get to them. And we'll go from there. I'm not going to do this whole, I'm done in a week. Got to have Sewing is a relaxer for me. I don't want it to be a business. I don't mind doing for people, and I don't mind making a little money on the side. I mean, we all don't, but I'm not going to be, it, it's not a business. All right, really, that's all I have. I think I'm just babbling. Don't even know what direction this was going in. Haven't set the garden. Haven't done anything uh, other than planting my little tickle me seeds. I think I'm going to forego um, planting a garden this year, and I'm going to shop farmer's markets. I really think because the amount of money I put out last year ended up buying at the grocery store anyway, and I still didn't get anything off the garden because of the weather and stuff and the bugs. And so, yeah, I just, I think I'm going to go that route this year and see if at least that way for my money, I'll get something. So, all right, I'm off of here. Y'all have a great week. I probably won't do a sewing thing until I get in there and actually get stuff done. It is what it is. When you get a bonus sewing video, then you get a bonus. If you don't, you don't. Just not going to push it. So. All right. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, I'm going to do the drawing. If you have not entered the second giveaway video because the first one wasn't claimed, please go back and do so. Um, I think on the, at the end of this month, I'm going to draw 
I don't even know the name. He's going back and looking. I may draw next month, whatever, or next month, next week. Um, just don't, I didn't put a date on it, and this is what I hate because it's the second drawing. Today is the 12th. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to say the 15th. April 15th, tax day. We are going to do that second drawing. So, go get, enter, just comment on anything on in that uh, giveaway video. So, in the second giveaway video. I think it was a couple weeks ago. All right. Thanks, and I'll talk to y'all later, and have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye.